What we're seeing in the Netherlands right now, again, Netherlands, not a third world country, Holland right now is exactly what America will expect, either by this year or the start of next year. We have a lot going on, a lot of volatility, but we're actually following the exact same lines as what Holland and a lot of European countries have done. What's happening there and what are we seeing signs of here that says, you know what? We're going down the same road to the abyss. Let's jump into it, what we should be looking at and now how the government will step in. Is it all a plan and all agenda? crazy thing is we're heading the exact same way. Let's jump into it. This video starts right now. Hey guys, welcome to The Max. Thank you so very much for being here today. If you are new to the channel, go down here, press subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, that's okay, but let us know what you think about the content of the video. When you give us the thumbs up, it does help us stay in the algorithm and I humbly thank you for that and I hope that you will uh, keep on watching and spending your days with us and sharing our message with your friends, your family, because I think it's very beneficial uh, seeing exactly what we're looking at daily in current events, but things that are not getting touched maybe in the main news. Now let's talk about today, Holland. Let's talk about what it means for us. Now we don't just say, well, I wonder what's happening in Holland today. The point of that is showing what's happening there is actually the same kind of global agenda push that is starting to happen here. We're just almost seeing the futuristic, the foreshadowing of what America could look like. All right, on Holland, mobs of violent migrants riot, attack police in Holland. Mass violence broke out in the city of Hague in the Netherlands Saturday night as hundreds of marauding African or multi, I love this, multicultural migrants attacked police, smashed property and set fires in scenes that are once again highlighted in complete failure of an open border. Reports suggest that the violence flared up between two rival groups in the city where they were located when the Dutch parliament was meeting. Footage appeared to show the protesters breaking into the opera, the police using tear gas to desperately take control of the efforts of the protesters and rioters. The rioters began throwing bricks and bottles at the police, attacking them with sticks and causing mischief all over the city. Now, what does this mean for us? Why does this pertain to us? Well, we're doing the exact same things in our cities. When I say get out of the cities, when I say get away from these liberal policies in these states, what's happening is these countries, especially these European countries, all embrace this mass migration move. And what that does is because we're not teaching assimilation, we're not teaching legal migration, we're teaching, well, let's just take everybody in at one time. All of a sudden now you have groups that are actually not getting along in the city that's gonna cause mischief. We've seen this in our cities. Have you seen the stories of migrants in our cities tearing up and dismantling and theft and thievery and stealing? Also, there's been murders in our cities. So we're just on the very first part of the prefaces where we're saying, okay, we're at the end of the plateau and the only way to go is down when we fall in this abyss because we're following the same steps as most European countries. There's not been one European country that's had mass migration that is allowed people just to come in without assimilation to say, you know what? Everything's going to be okay. Everything's good. We have a great prosperous nation. No, most of those people that are mass migrating are coming there. They're not going to contribute to society because if they're coming there illegally, do you actually think it's going to bring stabilization to our nation? Now, because of this, guess what happens? Guess what happens? Now, I mean, the Holland and Netherlands government, the Dutch government is almost doing like, you know, what do we do? They're, they're almost saying, I don't know how to control this. So I guess we need to bring in more force, more military, more police state. Isn't that funny? How when we all of a sudden get in panic, what happens? Well, the people didn't start the problem, but there's more of a military state and police state that will have to come in. They'll have to set curfews. They'll have to enforce heavier laws and regulations. Now, was it the, the people of the country that caused this problem? No, but because of the mass migration and because the overpopulation in the not assimilating times in our cities, now we have an over police state and military state that will now have to step in and take care of this city. Do you see how the chaos 
of mass migration not only caused the problems with voting, not only caused the problems with people not having jobs, because it goes back. If you look at how the mass migration moved in, how they're having to take care of people, look, i.e. how we're doing in America, these cities cannot be successful. And then all of a sudden, when things, riots happens and protests happens and all this non-assimilated uh, mass migration happens, fights break out, and then guess what? More chaos brings more regulation, which brings more enforcement, and then the government needs to step in and be more forceful. They need to have more of a mil military state, more martial law kind of style of government. It's happening, and we're seeing the exact same things happen here. Did you hear San Francisco just allowed a non-legal person to sit on the election commission? So they can't vote, but then this person is a non-legal resident of America, but they set policy on the election commission board for San Francisco. Do you see how it just slowly trickles in? Did you hear this week that this uh, lawyer that's so tied, Crump, you know, Ben Crump, that's always an ambulance chaser. He came out this week and said, our cities, the reason we're seeing so much crime is because we have too much crime on the book. So what we need to do is if we want to help inner city and urban kids, we need to cut the crime out, cut the regulation of crime out. We need to legalize certain things instead of making it illegal. So what does that do? You have a mass migration of people. Then you have the fact that you have main lawyers on the liberal side, the leftist side, uh, the George, even the George Soros funded DAs who are saying, let's make lax policies on crime. So then it brings in more chaos, more crises, more uncontrollable groups of individuals to then therefore, guess what happens in our cities? Holland. You have no assimilation. You have mass loads of people who are able to do whatever they want to do. And then we see places like San Francisco that say, well, guess what? Let's let everybody vote because we're allowing a non-voting person, a person that is not a member of America, not a legalized citizen, sit on a board. So that means they're going to set policy to say, you know what? Well, if these people are working, even though they're illegal, why don't we allow them to vote? We're making a chaotic situation way worse. And then they're all, therefore, guess what happens? More chaos ensues, more crisis ensues in our big areas, our metropolitan areas. And then therefore the government is allowed to at that point, because of the chaos, the people that are law abiding citizens in these towns say, oh my gosh, we've got to get control. What's happened in Chicago, New York? You have the law-abiding citizens saying, what are you doing, politicians? You're allowing this to happen. And there, therefore, then the politicians step in and say, well, I guess we need to step in with more regulations, more enforcement, more police state, more martial law, more curfews. And then, therefore, you've lost your freedom. Because we're allowing the same thing that's happened in Europe, this mass migration, this lacks of crime, this setting policies with, with allowing people to sit on boards and, and be a part of our community that's not even a legalized citizen. We're allowing it to happen, and we're going to see the same style life, and especially in the cities, as what they're seeing in Holland right now, what they're seeing in France right now. Like one of the most popular names in London right now for baby names is Muhammad. Now, if you want to name your baby Muhammad, I guess that's your right. But do you know why? Because the movement and the mass migration of wanting people to come in and wanting people to come to Great Britain, they've allowed so much mass migrations that now their whole population has changed. Their whole mindset of how they look at their nation has changed. You're not seeing this, this normal Great Britain, this historical way of living anymore. You're seeing a Muslim move into that, a mass migration move into Great Britain. It will change their way of life forever. It will never be back the same. Are we wanting the same thing in America? I want to read one more little snippet of a, of a, of a story. This is the problem with our three-letter agencies and the agendas that they push. I want you to listen to this. This is from Zero Hedge. It says, how the CIA destabilizes the world. What is the CIA? Well, it's secretive and duplicitous. This is, this, this is from a snippet from Mike Pompeo, which I'm not a big Mike Pompeo fan, but don't you listen to what he said. He said, as the time when I was the CIA director, we lied, we cheated, we stole. We had entire training courses on how to do this. It reminds you of the glory of the American experience because the way that we conduct business sometimes was unorthodox. Now listen to this. It is to subvert the enemies. The CIA helps subvert enemies meaning they want to change policy, and it's defined this way. The wide range of measures, assassinations, coups, staged unrest, 
arming insurgents and other means. The CIA has become where they have been a global instability to help bring in U.S. rule of law. Now, why do I say that? It's because we've destabilized the world so much that we caused the mass migration. Now we're looking at America being the next destabilized place to bring in this global push. If you don't see it right in front of you, I think that we're missing out. I think if you're not seeing this, then we, we would consider ourselves very foolish to think that we're not going to see what Holland and what France and what um, you know Great Britain, all those areas are looking at. We're we're foolish to think that it's not happening here next. So again, it comes down to you. What are you doing? you got to quit electing these globalist people. This comes from Republicans and Democrats. Both of them are pushing for this, this instability across the world, this, this global push of war across the world, which makes for mass migration, which makes for people to move here, no matter if it's across our border or flying them in for quote-unquote refugee camps. It's all about a push that is making a globalist agenda happen and it's making where it gives them more control more regulation because the chaos that ensues when you have this mass migration of people moving in and out of countries that was a big circle to reach but you don't believe that we caused the instability in a lot of these areas to now cause the mass migration into europe that now causes the the riots and the protesting and the fights in those areas because they didn't assimilate because you have millions upon millions upon mi millions of people moving into different areas that they were not used to being in? What's happening in America? Think about it. Mass migration of people moving into the cities that then turn around and have chaos, then therefore we're needing the military. We're needing bigger police states to step in. You see people getting upset that there's people in their towns and they, they don't have any schools. They don't have anywhere to go. All their food, their jobs, their work is getting taken. Well, that means the government has to step in. Oh my gosh, we can't control it. It's civil unrest, so now we need the government. In steps, martial law. In steps, overregulation. In steps, curfew. This is coming to a city near you. This is coming to a town near you. All because we're being lax and actually following the law. And at the same time, while we're doing that, we're going to overstep the law and we're going to make our freedoms and liberties go away. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this. Are we the next Holland? Are we the next Great Britain? Are we the next France where we're allowing mass, uh, massive amounts of people that are not assimilating, that are not legalized citizens come in our country and all of a sudden we're going to look back one day and say, what happened to our cities? This is exactly what's happening. Give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. I think this is all the while reason that you have to prepare. Spiritually, you have to prepare and make sure you're ready for the next coming years that's going to be tough. They're saying by the end of this year and the early part of next year, the millions of people that's here, it's going to keep on getting worse because we're not closing our border. So what is that going to do for our election? What's that going to do for the start of a new term of presidency for next year? I'm kind of scared to see. But that's why you spiritually prepare. And then after that, you start physically preparing. You start buying the things you need. Go back to the stop haul videos I've done where you can start getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get a budget ready so you can say, I need this, 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 this. You start making those purchases, taking care of your family, and ultimately looking for God to heal our lands. Guys, thank you for watching. God bless. Happy Homestead, y'all.